Hello there everyone! So today I wanted to make a very quick video describing how I am currently getting started with trying out and using Rome Research full-time. For anyone who's new, I'm Ren and I'm currently a full-time university student and productivity geek. If you've been following my channel, you'll know that I've become a huge fan of using RemNote, which has been working really well for me in terms of studying for coursework. If you go back even a little bit further, you'll find that I've actually been journaling with Obsidian for a while now. But the hashtag Rome cult has really captured my attention recently, and for many reasons. I'll be showcasing some of those features as I find my way around Rome, and I welcome you to join me in exploring everything if you're getting started as well. As the bit of a nerd that I happen to be, I do a lot of supplementary research for my studies. Before looking into Rome, I never really wrote down any of my findings anywhere specifically, other than in huge outlines or essays that concluded some of my thoughts. Since Rome has been hyped up so much recently, I decided that I would take a deeper look into it and try to use it for anything related to my academic research, as well as focusing on designing a personal knowledge base, a personal CRM, or a contact relationship management, and daily planning. So the purpose of the next few videos in this series is to document my journey for anyone who is just also getting started with Rome, and for anyone interested in seeing what the true potential of Rome is. I would also love to get some input from expert Rome users who could possibly give me some advice along the way, or let me know how they've designed their own systems. So please leave me some comments below. The great thing about making this process a series for you guys to watch is that I can improve along the way and share any new thoughts I have or any new experiences I've seen as I go through the actual process of overcoming the learning curve of Rome. Today in this first video, I'm going to work on starting a daily planning system to start building up a foundation for what will eventually become a huge network of my ideas as I'm trying to build this second brain. So to get myself started, I'm going to start with the daily notes feature. It seems to me at the moment that I'm going to be using Rome as a daily schedule and task manager while also being able to keep all my projects in one place. So the daily note feature will probably be the main hub and the basic beginning point of all of my ideas, CRM and planner, and everything will just stem from the daily page. So today, since it's my first day, I'm going to start off with designing a template for my daily timetable and then go into a to-do list for some of the tasks that I plan on completing, which will allow me to kick off a system for management. First, I'm setting up a morning plans section that allows me to find a focus for the day to complete and then find myself a fun motivational quote to make sure that I am inspired and motivated to get more work done as the day goes by. I'll fill these out a little bit later in the video, so let's go down from here. I'm also making sure to stay social during quarantine to catch up with friends, and I do believe that emotional relationships are extremely important for me to maintain, so I always make sure to set aside some time throughout the week to relax and spend time with the people I love and care about. It definitely helps me get out of a constant cycle of working and out of that rut, and it definitely relieves a lot of my stress. I'm just going to write down a few of the times and make sure that the times in my schedule are all linked to references so that in the future I'm able to look back and see what I did at each time of the day. This is also going to be a way for me to eventually set up what I would call a productivity tracker so that I know if I was actually able to follow my schedule completely that I set for each day. And obviously the maximum goal is that I'm able to stay focused on each task and not skip any of the things that I've already planned for myself. So today is a Sunday, which is pretty much a laid back day for me, and I'm just doing some chores around the house and focusing on doing some extra reading for more of my interests outside of class. And I don't have much lecture content I'm covering today. I'm just kind of getting ahead of myself and looking a little bit further into the future. So I'm not super focused on academics today. I will be updating this timetable plan throughout the day and replacing each time with what I actually ended up doing during that specific time slot. And then at the end of the day, I'm creating a section called winding down for the night, allowing myself to reflect on my productivity throughout the day and how I felt about everything. So in that section, I'm going to add a highlight of the day, which is basically something that just really stood out to me throughout the day and something I want to remember and hold close to me or something that was surprising or important for me to note. Hey guys, quick intermission here. This is me at the end of the day editing this video and I realized that I added two extra things in here. One is, were you productive? And the next is, 
something I'm grateful for. So I just added those in there to help me reflect a little bit better in my day, but that's not really shown in this clip. So I'm gonna insert something here from tonight um, and I'll mention that a little bit later as well. I'm also adding a feelings and accomplishments section so that I know what I was actually able to do in that day and give myself an explanation with feelings to justify whether or not I was really productive or whether or not I just didn't have a great day and it was a little bit tougher for me. I would also like to know if I have any leftover tasks that I need to complete tomorrow or a different day and anything I might need to remember like a fun memory or a reminder for something to do in the future, which I would add in as a link. Just as an explanation for you all, I'm definitely planning on doing my night updates on my iPad Pro instead of with my laptop, since I just carry my iPad into bed and can do some quick reflections on that, and my laptop is a little bit too heavy. I'm planning on making this a quick thing that just helps me get some thoughts down at night, which I hope is going to help with my sleep quality since the goal is that I won't be stressed after taking everything out of my mind and dumping it onto a separate database. So now I'm going back through and filling in my plans for the morning. The must do task of the day today is to film this YouTube video, which I'm doing right now. So it's great that I'm on schedule for the day. And next we have my inspirational quote of the day. Today I've picked perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence by Vince Lombardi, whom I've actually never heard of before. So I've created a link for him so that I can do some more research on him later and hopefully find some other really great quotes. I have three friends that I've set aside to contact today, which I'll be doing throughout the day as well. Okay, so now going through the actual day, I'm modifying some of my plans that could be moved around a bit. I'm also going through my checklist and ticking off all of the tasks that I've completed so that I will be able to reflect on my productivity at night. So we finally reached the end of the day for my night updates and I'm just typing in some of my basic reflections and feelings from everything that I did today. I was thinking in this case that a day in the life with Rome research video would be really interesting for you all to watch. So let me know if you'd like to see me take you through a live version of a day in my life as a college student planning my life with Rome so that I can pick up a camera every time I decide to modify my Rome page and kind of take you through the whole process one by one. I'll end off this first video here today and in the next video, you'll get a better idea of how I'm planning my supplemental thesis research notes. Again, I would really appreciate any feedback in the comments below and please like and subscribe for more of my content. Turn on notifications as well if you'd like to know when I post my next video. Thanks so much friends and I'll see you very soon.